Uh, hi everyone, uh, I decided to make this small tutorial to just give you an introduction to what is a differentiation and what is an integration. So people are, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, students are like scared of uh, um, calculus, but here uh, I'm giving a simple example. So this is uh, more of a calculus for dummies. So let's take an example. So suppose uh, if I have a, a rectangle, right? So like suppose this is our y and this is our x right so um so what what we have so what we can do is we can draw a small rectangle here so we say that's what is the area of this rectangle so how do we calculate this we say y into x so that is your area right so this is a simple calculation because here we can calculate the area just by multiplying the y by x y is that this is because your y is constant so you can look see that your y is constant for all the x values but now let's take another example so here we have y and x and instead of a straight line it's more like a, this and then you have x so here what is happening is that x is proportional to or y is proportional to x so what is proportional is that you increase the y your x also increases right so when x is also increasing then how will i calculate the area of this this part uh, now you will say oh i know it because this is a triangle i know is half into y into x but yeah you know it but you can you could also have a different shape instead of being uh, a straight line it could have been like this and then i would have to ask you how to calculate the area under this so not exactly like this it cannot be uh, this but let's let's say it's like like this so if you need to calculate this area then how will you do it so so I'm giving, I'm using this uh, uh, triangle as an example because that is more easier to describe and then you can always go to the difficult ones. But now see, so how will you define it? So now y is proportional to x and so suppose y is equal to a into x. So what is your a? a is your uh, constant. So it could be 1 or it could be anything else. So now we have to calculate the area. So you say... Um, now my area is equal to y into x so that is true right however the y is changing so y is equal to f of x y what is the f of x f of x means that y is the function of x so you can see here y is the function of x so as you change uh, x your y also changes so so what we have to do is we have to say uh, that y um, so we will say a into x into x right but now this x is not cannot be i'm not talking about this is not x here so we are talking about the small quantity right so so let's take let's draw this again so what i can do is and draw this again and look at this way now suppose i take a very very small area like this and if i look at this area and i look at this part so look at this part so i can assume that this in this area the y is not changing so i can say that y is constant in there because i've taken a very very small area so this area has to be very very small so how small it should be almost close to zero so we call this as so what we call this as dx so, and this is equal to y so this is the y so so at dx so we have to so what what we do is so we have to, if we have to calculate the area of this strip how do we calculate we calculate it by y into dx right and then similarly we calculate this strips so we change the strip again now we take this area 
and we calculate this and then we add all the steps together to get to the answer so to get to the area of this region right so what we do is we say add y dx and change x from 0 to x so this is your x or we can you can call it a capital x so just for a, so you need to define something so let's so let's call it capital x this thing right so now as you know that y is equal to a time x so we can say y is equal to a x dx and then 0 to x and now if you define this one then it will be equal to a into x square by 2 so this is your now i'm using the uh, standard formula for calculus but so there is a way to uh, to define this but you, so you have to um, first uh, you need to understand the basic principles of calculus and then you can always remember these formulas so if you do the simplification it will be a x square by 2 and then you will say 0 to x and if you do 0 to x when you put 0 here it will become 0 and if you put x square so it will be a x square by 2 and as you know that what is 2 or what is uh, a into x a into x is equal to y so you can say it's a it's uh, y x right by 2 so that is what you have you, are, you already know this because it's the area of the triangle but this is how you do uh, go from calculus now uh, so this is what is the use of the calculus so this is how you can define calculus so you define each strip you assume in that case strip small strip the y is not changing and then uh, you define everything in term of x you integrate it and then you can calculate the area so similarly like suppose um, um, when you have to calculate the velocity uh, so this is your velocity this is your time and the car is accelerating and it reaches a particular uh, velocity then we'll say how much distance it has traveled during this time so we'll, we'll what we do is we say acceleration into time uh, is equal to velocity right so so what we say is uh, velocity into time is equal to distance however velocity is changing with time so we'll say uh, velocity is equal to function of time so um, so we'll say um, uh, velo suppose velocity is equal to uh, a time t then uh, no not a let's define something else like suppose uh, b time t so then in this case we'll be having uh, b time t into dt dt why dt because we are taking a small strip in this and then we are adding all the number from when t is equal to 0 to t and that will be equal to b t squared by 2 and you might have heard of it as so b uh, your uh, your b is nothing but a here so b is um, because v is equal to b into t and uh, so if you if you look at this this is equal to uh, v divided by t or is equal to a so this is your acceleration so if you define this as the a t squared by 2 so so you might have uh, looked at this formula before that distance is equal to half into acceleration into t square so this is how you you go about the uh, the uh, the integration so this is how so this is what is the use of the integration so if something is changing and we have to calculate then we have to look at the small strip and then do the calculations so i hope uh, this little concept would help you understand what the calculus is all about so i'll see you later then thank you